to bring it back to what we're talking about today with this hearing, I didn't learn a single thing that I didn't already know from what the lawyers for South Africa said today, because everything they were saying is in the public domain. Yeah. But what was chilling about it was to hear it in a court that under the law has the authority to say to Israel, this must stop immediately. And, and, and that actually is worth something because it's going to call the question to nations around the world on whether they believe in international law or they think that the United States should continue to be the emperor over international jurisprudence where it dictates who the law applies to and who it doesn't apply to. One final thing, it was really chilling when they started reciting, and, and if you read their 84-page filing, the South Africans, over the course of nine full pages, they are citing quotes from Israeli officials that are clearly genocidal in nature. You know, not just Benjamin Netanyahu invoking the biblical tale of Amalek and, you know, kill all their children, their women, the, 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 the babies, the livestock, but others talking about genocidal intent. And what they did is they, they played some of those by video, they read others, and then they connected it to soldiers on the ground clearly understanding those as official orders. That is genocidal intent. And, you know, I was struck by the the thought, because I've followed all these statements that these guys have made, these criminal genocidal statements, but hearing it in that court today, I realized the reason that Netanyahu and Yoav Gallant and all these other people feel so comfortable making such shocking genocidal statements publicly is that they have the confidence that nothing will ever happen to them as a result of making those statements. It doesn't even register to them that anyone would be able to hold them accountable because the bully of the world is their backer, the United States. And already these toadies, you know, John Kirby at the White House, National Security Council, you know, Matt Miller, a guy who has no soul and no conscience out there every day shilling for the genocidal operations. Who's done such guys, a poor, piss poor job that even the IDF had to at a certain point be like, all right, right. You're, get, you're getting ahead of this and you're causing political pressure for us internally inside of Israel by by yeah. speculating on like potentially the, the reasons as to why Hamas is not releasing some of the female IDF soldiers, this was so yeah. out there and caused uh, so much political turmoil in Israel that the IDF had to correct the American State Department. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 totally true. I mean, when 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 you have people like Benjamin Netanyahu saying, hey, tone it down a little bit, you know, like that, that, that says something. 